Bachman took, took a stab saying, you know, devil's in the details. Mm. When you turn it upside down, it is 666. <laughs> well, everyone got the opportunity to blame Wall Street if they wanted to, and it seems like only Ron Paul took them up on it. Let's listen in. Well, the people who did this... Surprising, I guess, for a guy who wants to abolish the Fed, but he sounds more and more like he sympathizes with the Occupy Wall Street protesters. Doesn't he? Now, speaking of the Fed, one of the most... With Ron Paul, they were thinking the same thing. There was also a lot of Bernanke bashing, wouldn't you say, during the debate. That was seemed like a popular belief among a lot of the candidates. When when Kane backed uh, Alan Greenspan, the Twitter sphere was a flood. It's Mitt Romney's debate to win or lose, but Herman Cain certainly had to prove himself. Many would say he did on several fronts, perhaps his tax plan, maybe not quite so much right there. Let's head up to New Hampshire because you would really stood out to me was the bashing of China. This has become a popular political play. Here's Mitt Romney. People who've looked at this in the past have been played like a... F so some tough talk on China there. And this takes on even further importance after last night when the Senate actually approved this new bill right. that would tax Chinese companies for having an undervalued currency. Now, it still hasn't gone to the House, but clearly this is an escalation in the sort of back and forth with China. Yeah, no question about it. And, you know, I've been going through the research notes this morning. This obviously has implications, not just for the politicians, but for economics, for investors as well. ING, in fact, put a number on it. They looked at this currency bill that passed the Senate and said, if it were to become law, if for some reason the House passes it, this could have a major cost on the economy. They said $100 billion to consumers, 1% rise in inflation, not to mention what it's going to do to the Treasury market and to the equity markets. So certainly a risk here going in as the political rhetoric heats up. Well, speaking of that bill, Sarah, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner.